How are you? Just fine. Good. I'm Anthony. What's your name? Elissa. Nice to meet you. I'm an employee here. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Um, I'd I shake your hand, but you gotta yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. How do, how do you spell the first name? E-L-I-S-S-A. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, what I'm doing is uh, flagging down anyone that would actually speak in, speak with me to understand how they came to their belief in God, okay. like the strength of it, and, and, and what process did they use to get to it. And I'm timing it for five minutes, okay. so I know your time is valuable, and you can bolt <laughs> if you want. Um, if we were to have a belief scale, Alyssa, where 0% is I have no confidence that my belief is true, and I'm 100% confident that my belief is true in this God, you could be anywhere in between. Where would you put 100%. yourself? 100%. Absolutely. Wow. Why are, what is putting you so high up on the on the confidence of your belief? You know, I've I've seen it. I've seen my faith in works and um, and how how God has uh, throughout history maneuvered things. And so I highly believe, um, you know, in the existence of God. And and I've studied His Word, and so I see it. Hmm. My belief is very strong. I attend three meetings out of the week. Um, wow! So you go quite a bit. Yes, this now, is great. I don't ever want to assume which God are you believing in. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, so I believe Jehovah God. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you go three times a week. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the main reason why you accept Jesus and the Jehovah God? Yes. Sorry. The Jehovah God, and you're so confident in the strength of your belief. Could you, could you point to one major thing? Is there one major thing? That's causing you to be so confident on it? Um, I think throughout my life, I've come from a lot of struggles. Mm -hmm. And throughout my life, um, Jehovah has always been there for me. And, you know, there are times when I'm like, God, I just need an answer. I just need to know, you know, and, and my answer is, is, my question is answered. And oh. so I have that strong belief. And, and huh. like I said, throughout history, studying, I mean, these are things that are, you can be found, even archaeologists have uncovered manuscripts, um, you know, with God's hmm. name on it. And, and, and so it's it's just, to me, it's it's a belief. It's real. It's been proven scientifically hmm. and in every way. So would you say that uh, if you, you've had things going on in your life, and if you ask for Jehovah God to help, and then you see that the results of it, yes. and then that bolsters the strength of your belief. Absolutely, absolutely. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Were you always in Jehovah's Witness? Um, no. Uh, well, I was introduced as a youth, so okay. I was very young. So yes, I do feel like it's been hmm. my whole life, but. But yes, um, as, a, as a youth. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've talked to many people on this campus and other campuses and yeah. um, Hindus and Muslims yes. and Christians and all sorts of Mormons and everything. Yeah. Um, and I've, I have heard similar stories where they would say, I know that Allah is real. I know that Vishnu is real. Mm -hmm. Because when I ask, when I cry out for help, I, I see this God working in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm to the point where I'm 100% confident that my belief is true. Your story is extremely sincere and honest, and I appreciate you sharing it with me. However, it does remind me of similar stories that I hear from other people that would attribute these things to other gods. Right. How might somebody go about figuring out which of you might be more correct in the belief than the other? Well, if you, um, if you believe in, in God and God's Word, if you examine the Scriptures, you will find the truth. Um, I mean, Jesus outlined what his followers would be like. Um, he also listed world events that would take place and have taken place. Um, and, and ones that we have yet to see, but they have always come true. All is it the, is it the book? Are you pointing to the book, essentially? God's, God's Word, the Bible, yes. Okay. Hmm. And again, we've studied it, and we've studied it against um, findings, against scientifically, I mean... Oh, really? Yes. yes. Okay. So, so um, if science were to somehow come up with a way mm -hmm. to disprove everything that you just mentioned, prophecies and the history and these items, and if science could adequately explain that these things were not supernatural, do you think that you would still believe? Absolutely. Faith is the assured expectation of things not seen. Okay. So then your belief really isn't rooted in those things, it would sound like, that that faith really is more my, important. My faith, which I've gained through study and knowledge of the Bible. Is it 
Okay. We're, we're 30 seconds. Okay. We, can, we can go longer if you feel like it. No, I, I got okay. to work actually. Do you have a definition of faith? I'm um, sorry, of what? You, you, you're, you're, um, you had mentioned a definition or a description of faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the Bible it says that faith is, um, is the assurance of um, things that are unseen. Okay. It's the assured expectation that these things will take place or that are happening are true even okay. though you don't see them. Like the wind that you don't mm -hmm. see but you can you can see its result, its okay. effect. So even if all those things in the Bible were to be explained by science, you'd still believe because of your faith? Absolutely. But that won't happen because, hmm. because it is truth. And, and sure enough, everyone will eventually know it. So. Okay. Okay. Well, Th thank you so much. Thank you very much for Have your time.